We know about the motivation factor. You know, games motivate, points motivate, badges motivate, you know, things that you can earn and prizes motivate. Is, th is there something else about games that can change, edu that can enhance education? Uh, NT, you were sort of alluding to that in, in, in your comments, but it, my question is, is how far do we go in this, with this idea of gamification? Is it just the badges? Is it just sort of, I mean, a lot of people will say school is a badly, poorly designed game already. It gives grades and points and, you know, it has levels and, you know, but is, is that enough? Anybody want to respond? Sure. <laughs> Tell me if I talk too much. <laughs> All right. Um, so I actually break the, um, the different elements uh, down into three components. I think there's psychological. I think that you could probably clump emotional into that as well, but I think I consider it separately. And then also the efficacy, which is the achievement um, element of it. And when I look at the psychological aspect, there is motivation that's really, really important. But I think the three other elements that are very important with games is um, safety, so this is a safe environment to fail. Um, privacy, um, I can do this on my own, you know, and I don't have to put my hand up in the middle of the classroom and everyone realize I don't know um, the question. And then personalization. So I think of that as a, as, as a serious gamification element because you can actually control your environment inside most games, whether it's your character or whether it's choosing your maps or your levels, and none of that happens inside educational environments. So if you can help to personalize, then that's a psychological sort of um, help. Productivity, I actually think of this from the perspective of teachers. We say we have a labor shortage, and I say we do not have a labor shortage. The reason is because generally we consider the model one teacher to 20 or 30 students inside a classroom. But the truth of the matter is, is that actually, um, because you have multiple kids in the classroom, that kid might know conjugation, that kid might know fractions really well. If you take the combined knowledge of all the students in the classroom, and you give them the incentive through points or whatever to actually help each other, then you might actually have nine to 10 teachers in a classroom. That could reduce some of the pressure that we have on some of the teaching, et cetera. The last portion is emotion. And I don't know, how many of you know Andy, um, Anthony Robbins, Tony Robbins? You know that, okay. Self-help guru, right? Um, he says if you want to make permanent change in your life, you have to associate emotion with whatever change you want to make. So if you want to um, decrease your weight, then you take pain with the next bite, et cetera. We have no emotion when we get to education. Like the only emotion you have is crap, I just got my text back and I didn't do really well, or I was really happy. And there's a huge amount of time between the emotional elements that you have, or the emotional experiences you have. Whereas in games, you have emotional experiences every 10, 15 seconds. And it doesn't let you get too depressed because you have a chance within the next 10, 15 seconds to build back up. So I think those are other elements.